Hi guys, welcome to the short video about how to activate downloads and uh, be able to share your footage from the Ubox app. Here I am on one of my cameras and you can see uh, when I go to the footage there is no download available. I can show you that here we have the overview of all my cameras here in the Ubox and here we have one of the cameras and when we go to the uh, micro SD card then we do not have a preview and we do not have an option to download I mean you can click on that and we can view everything but there's absolutely no way uh, how to download and share it and this is how it goes I had same thing here with my other camera that's the Oluk S20 which is a really nice camera uh, yeah, it's highly recommended if you're interested into that I'll put down the link to this one into the description when we click on it we have the same thing let's go here also on the micro SD card and we see the footage but now we get a uh, first thing we get a preview and second thing we get a download button and how is it possible to get a download button yeah is it any kind of uh, trick or like an update or so from the app no it's not it's actually an update in the camera unfortunately it looks like they came out with this new app the ubox and uh, many companies came then with new cameras and usually cameras are really advanced uh, they have a lot of good cameras but it looks like in the first version they forgot to add this preview and this download so what you have to do if you're stuck in the same situation and you don't have any downloads you have to contact your seller unfortunately or the manufacturer and then ask for an updated firmware unfortunately it looks like it's not possible to just update it from here uh, yeah, usually you can go here and then go into firmware update but unfortunately it looks like uh, you cannot do that for this uh, specific update here it looks like you really have to take out the micro sd card and format it or at least delete everything uh, if possible format it with FAT32 if you know how to do that otherwise you just erase everything you stop the camera and then you put this file on it I mean here with the Yoluk S20 it's this file here by the way I'll put it uh, to my cloud storage you can download and install it from there uh, for other cameras I don't have it unfortunately you will have to contact the seller or manufacturer and get such a config file what you have to do here I am on the like E drive I mean of course it's not the real E drive but let's assume the E is the micro SD card what you have to do is to clear everything and then make uh, one folder and put this one this config file on the root and then on the update file uh, exactly same thing also the config file and then another update in the update and then also the config file there I mean it, not everything is needed but I have been trying with one of the uh, manufacturers for long long time we have been trying everywhere so I was a little bit tired first they told me yeah you have to put it in the root then they told me you have to do put it in the update file or like update folder but I've then seen that it was an update in the update so finally I've put this config file everywhere on the root in the update and in the update of the update and then I've put the micro SD card back and restarted the camera and it did the update I, I think it's uh, probably same thing with all the other cameras but again this config file probably is not working for other cameras so I would not recommend to use that I would ask the seller or manufacturer for the specific config file for each camera yeah that's actually it for now by the way yeah one thing I almost forgot to tell you after you have downloaded this thing like here unfortunately there's no way to directly share uh, the footage from here what you can do I mean you can go to the album and then you have everything here but it doesn't help there's no sharing option from here but because it's not encrypted that's the good thing here and it's stored uh, then on your phone if you do this on your phone I mean of course also works with BlueStack but uh, most people will probably do this on the phone then when you go 
to an app like uh, Google Photos or so you can find the footage then there on your local storage and share it from there. Unfortunately, it's not possible to share it from the U-Box app itself. So that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or other suggestions on that, just let us know down in the feedback area. And if you have updated config files from other cameras, please share them with us. Uh, maybe put it on cloud and share them with us would be really nice. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.